specifically, I like to look at our issues through relationships, especially that of the twin flame dynamic, which can show, which does show some of our greatest polarity within relationships and the greatest separation that we still suffer with in mankind today and each and every one of us holds that wound of separation. Are you sick and tired of feeling so separate? Not just from your twin flame, but from your own divine being? If you are, please take a listen. My readings are probably different than most others. I would call myself a common sense sense reader. I've been through this twin flame journey for almost three years now, which I believe it starts right when in birth and you just don't know it until you have your awakening. So really my whole life I've been on a twin flame journey. So in order for us to grow, we have to look at our own shit. And that's what my readings go towards. It will talk about your person, but mostly it's going to talk about you and what you can do to stop the crazy chasing, the crazy running, the craziness that really goes along with having a twin flame connection. So if you're at all interested, please keep listening. Please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it with others who may who may also benefit from these readings. And if you're also interested, I have another side topic, which I just started, which I'm just starting this as well, but another thing that I'm starting is what I like to call the gray area, where we talk about polarizing issues from well, from the best non-polarizing stance that I myself can achieve. And hopefully when I get to the point of having guests that they can achieve as well, which is no easy task in the society that we grow up in. So if you've listened this far, please enjoy the reading. And if you, like I said, if you like it, please subscribe and like and share. If not, you are entitled to your opinion and you can just like it as well i will take that into account and um probably just keep going on because this is what i am meant to do so <laughs> uh that being said enjoy hello divine feminines this is your personal message before I get into the connection so the middle card take a leap of faith into the unknown fell out immediately and I got this rush of just anxiety yet assurance if that makes sense it it was like this knowing that we're all in this space of the unknown and we're anxious of taking this leap forward but we're all about to do it <laughs> so that's really cool and then never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings this is so important right now I, if you haven't listened to my gray area video, I would actually suggest that you go and listen to that because it's, it's, whatever's happening in the collective is really showing up within each of us because all of it is happening within each of us. And the whole, well, from my perspective and what I've gathered from this twin flame journey is that the twin flame journey is to mirror to you exactly what you need to work on yourself that no matter how hard you try to make a connection work that if you don't heal yourself it's never going to to manifest because this person has a soul contract with you 
to keep triggering you, to keep causing pain and those feelings of whatever it is that you're struggling with, abandonment, to keep popping up over and over and over again. So that is the purpose of it. So for my own personal journey, and I believe a lot of Divine Feminines, we make a lot of decisions based on our feelings. And that's okay. We're feeling beings. It's something that we're intuition. We, we understand what is going on within those different realms. But when we don't have, haven't attained self-mastery, we can use those feelings to be destructive towards others, but mostly towards ourselves. Because we're not building the life that we we really want. We're building a life based on feelings. And they go back and forth and back and forth. And this is actually what the Divine Masculine's role is in us. Is to come in and help the feminine balance and heal. Um, maybe not in the way that we've ever wanted. But in a way that causes us to look deeply within ourselves so that being said (laughs) the one to the right here is fall in love when you are ready not when you're lonely that is so important that is so important because if we're basing our connection off of something that we need to get fulfilled we're never going to get that fulfilled we have to always rely upon ourselves and that we can give ourselves what we need if you want desperately to have a relationship with someone and it just keeps failing then that as hard as it may say sound it's not on the other person it's on you and you are the only one who can change and you have the ability to attract someone who's going to be emotionally available and someone that you can express your feelings to and not feel all those fears of abandonment and triggers into those childhood wounds but in order to get to that point you need to heal yourself you need to go within and take time for yourself and honestly block out everything else and just focus on yourself you owe it to yourself to do that those types of things So again, I just want to reiterate, and I just love how these these cards fell out, like with the black and the white and how it just all matches. We're all taking a leap of faith into self-mastery and to this new ability to be who we are as divine feminines. This is scary stuff because we've never done it. But just because it's scary doesn't mean that it's not going to be absolutely amazing. So I just want to encourage you, as you feel those feelings too of anxiety and stress, that like, oh, I can't do this. I can't be that that lioness that, that I know that I am. It's like, no, yes, you can. But find your way into what that is and what that means and what that looks like. And just be gentle with yourself. Be easy on yourself and and take that leap. Take that leap of faith into what those passions and just let those those thoughts take you over rather than the fear okay on to the connection okay so this is so on point i couldn't believe it as this these um cards fell out every time it happens i'm like okay (laughs) but anyway this is the connection so we have the wheel of fortune clarified by the king of cups the hermit clarified by the seven of cups death in reverse clarified by the hangman in reverse and then we have the eight of cups clarified by the knight of cups so i'll start at the beginning so as i talked in my last video about the connection um there's a realization that this is this is destiny the world of fortune this is a karmic connection um lots of life lessons are learned within the wheel of fortune and he realizes that you are his destiny if that makes sense um because here with the king of cups this is who he knows he wants to be and who he knows that like you deserve so 
as you keep creating healthy boundaries, when you keep working on yourself, when you keep loving yourself and enjoying yourself and not looking for his attention, that changes him. It causes him to change. It causes him to go within. Just in my own personal experience, when he does come forward, which he always will, I know that with it with a twin flame connection there's always like that need to to come forward and to see like test out the waters um when he comes forward and you don't allow him to cross your boundaries when you don't you know and he's going to try to do that that's what his job is he's trying to mirror to you exactly what you need to heal so when you know your worth and you stand in who you are that's going to reflect back to him that he needs to change it's going to trigger him so into and that's we'll just go right into the hermit that's what's going on because right now the hermit clarified by the seven of cups that's completely understandable he's looking at himself he needs to go into a hermit mode because all of the delusions all of that's what that's what the seven of cups signifies it's like a delusional type of behavior where he's like oh I think everything is is perfect and we have all these things and everything's just gonna go perfect and that's kind of where that connection was where it's like you both were in that connection where it's like illusionary it just feels so good like we're drawn to each other but then everything explodes so that's where he's at right now he needs to figure out what this connection means and it he knows that it's not that illusionary that illusionary feeling so now we have death in reverse with the hangman clarifying as the hangman in reverse there's a transformation that needs to happen but because he's walking away right now after okay so that's what the eight of cups signifies too so that's walking away from the connection walking away not not know just knowing that the, the offer with the knight of cups that's usually an emotional offer and i talked about in the last reading he came forward with an emotional offer but he re, like you put in those boundaries you you know your worth and he has to walk away now and he has to figure out if he's going to transform so that and that's something that he does alone it's not something that you know, just like you and i have done so much hard work on our own that's what the divine masculine has to do on his own he has to come to the point of transformation himself whether it's through a karmic relationship whether it's through some sort of addiction and he gets you know different type of karmic situations that he has to transform from so i'm seeing here there's 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 a struggle because the death and the hangman is in reverse it's a struggle because he's kind of hurt he's you know his his ego is hurt his ego ego is wounded right now because of how you've asserted yourself and you know your worth he that's something that is really hard for the divine masculine where the material plane is where they really thrive so I don't know what your divine masculine does but when mine comes forward it's always with something very like tangible he wants to come off to me as if he's like he's got it all together like financially like all that like he kind of just talks the big game when really like (laughs) as a divine feminine you that's that's just not who you are you're a very deep person you can see right through that stuff and because of that that's that's you know that that's his old patterns where he's trying to win you over by things that have worked in the past with other connections now he's seeing that's not going to work so in order to to have this connection that he he knows that he wants he's dreaming about it you know he's having all these illusions about it that it's the perfect match for him and all that but in order to have that he now knows that he has to change but he's walking away from it kind of wounded and that's okay um in that wounded place that means he's going to get triggered more and more things are going to happen and more growth is going to happen so 
I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. You know, he... I think right now he's at this point where he he really truly respects you and he might almost be toiling with the idea that it just we're incompatible so then he doesn't have to do the work if that makes sense he he would just say oh it's just too intense it's too complicated we're not supposed to be together you know you know all those excuses he's probably going through those types of things in his mind but I am feeling like rest assured that something's going to happen something's going to trigger him and he's going to have to deal with his karma and figure out how to transform and actually um, change his own behavior so that being said it's just patience and you know we can pray for them we can send them all the loving energy and support but again that means that we create our boundaries and we keep doing that so then they can grow okay i think that is all that i have for today thank you for listening if you liked my video please subscribe share like it helps me um gain because this is what i actually want to do um, full time eventually so any help any support um, will be much appreciated okay thank you so much have a great rest of your day